Lee, and today I'm going to show you how to make homemade bath salts. It's a pretty easy DIY. It would make a great gift, or you can use it yourself. So you're going to need Epsom salt, which I got at Big Lots, but I think they have it at Walmart or just about, you know, anywhere. Some glycerin. This is 100% pure vegetable glycerin oil. I got this from Amazon. Um, I can leave the link below, actually. Uh, it's not an affiliate link, it's just where I got it. And oil of your choice, essential oil of your choice. I'm going with sweet orange. I got this at um, Edensgarden.com. Again, not an affiliate. I just uh, like them. <laughs> they're, they're pretty reasonably priced. And um, this one smells really good. You can use whatever you want. You can also add a couple of drops of food coloring, but... I'm not going to do that. This is just for us. Uh, it's for me and my daughter, so I'm not going to bother with that. So the recipe is one cup of Epsom salt, one teaspoon of, of glycerin to however many drops, anywhere from five to 20 drops of essential oils, depending, you know, how strongly you want it scented, how strongly scented you want it. I can't speak. So what I'm doing today is two cups, two cups of Epsom salts. Let me scoot it back a little so you can see. I'm going to mix my glycerin and the essential oils together first. I don't know if that really makes a difference, but so since I have two cups of Epsom salt. I'm going to use two teaspoons of glycerin. And I don't, I'm going to add a few drops. I like it pretty strongly scented. So I'm going to add, I think that was about 10. I wasn't really counting. But it smells good. <laughs> Mix that up a little bit. Oops, sorry, it would help if I do it on camera. I should have gotten a colorful bowl. Mix it in with my Epsom salt. Sorry about the noise there. And stir until it's all mixed together. Oh, that smells so good. The sweet orange is amazing. Another one I really like um, is grapefruit. And of course, you know, peppermint, lavender, and all those are nice. Um, but I'm thinking this is my favorite right now, the orange. Well, sweet orange it's called. They had two different oranges. Sorry, I'm babbling. So you get this mixed up nicely. Uh, whoops, I found a clump. Hold on. It is amazing, the smell, the scent. Okay, once you have it all mixed up, it's as simple as that. And I have this cute little container I got at the Dollar Tree. Oops. <laughs> I'm just going to put it in here and um, put it up in the bathroom. And here you have it. So just sprinkle some of these in, some of this in when you're taking a bath. Um, as much or as little as you like. I think it really depends you know, how big of a tub you have. Um, I would put just a big scoop in and um, relax. So there you go. If you are giving this as a gift, you probably, you might want to color it based on the scent just to make it, you know, really pretty. Tie a ribbon around it. It would be really nice. So if you like the idea of making your own bath salts, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Twitter Facebook, and Instagram at Lee's Home 05. And thanks for watching. Bye.